Hi there, and welcome to Mind Over Munch Two Ingredient Takeover, where I make delicious recipes out of just two simple ingredients. Today, I'm making my delicious no carb cloud bread. Say what? Thumbs up for no carb bread. The two ingredients are eggs. And cream cheese. However, this is technically going to be a three ingredient takeover because there is one extra element that's necessary, and that is baking powder. But that's a pantry item, so it doesn't really need to count. You're gonna start by separating your eggs, your yolks in one bowl and your whites in another. You can do it the fancy way where you toss the yolk back and forth between the eggshell, or you can do it the way I do it, which is using my hand as a yolk filter. Voila, separated yolks and whites. To our egg yolks, we are going to add our softened cream cheese, completely room temperature softened. And today I am using a little bit of sweetener and salt just to bring out all of the flavors of the bread, but they are absolutely optional. Whip it up to combine, try to get out any lumps. It is important that the cream cheese is full fat for this recipe, but don't worry, it is only a few tablespoons. I've also seen people make this with cottage cheese, but again, you wanna make sure it is full fat if you choose to do that. I personally think cream cheese yields a nicer final product texture-wise. Generally, if a recipe is lower in one macronutrient, it has to be higher in one of the others to compensate. So since this recipe has no carbs at all, it's gotta have some fat and protein. Now to our bowl with the egg whites. Here is where I'm gonna add in my baking powder. Grab your hand mixer and whip it on up until your egg whites are nice and fluffy and you've got those stiff peaks. You don't want to over whip them just enough so that when you pull the mixer away, a stiff peak remains and is able to hold its form without collapsing. Now it's time to integrate your egg yolk mixture into your egg white mixture and you just want to fold it in very gently. Again, you don't want to over mix it just enough until a light yellow mixture is cohesive throughout. Now while I was making my bread dough mixture, I had a few baking sheets lined with parchment paper preheating in my oven, preheated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want the pans to be hot before you put the mixture on. This is gonna help them cook evenly throughout. Spray them down and then lightly spoon on your mixture into little circular slices or rounds. Bake them in the oven preheated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes until light golden brown. A quick note, every oven is different. My oven tends to get a little bit hotter than it says, so I actually had to bake these at 275 to 280. You know your oven best. Try it out at 300, but if they bake too quickly or brown too fast, next time try to turn the oven temperature down. The end product is so nice and fluffy, and you're gonna wanna eat them right then, but wait. These are best after they've had some time to sit. Once these have cooled slightly, you're gonna wanna place them into a plastic bag and let them sit for a few hours, or if you can, overnight. And when you grab them the next day, they are going to be perfectly fluffy, soft and delicious, and zero carbs. But beware. If you do not store these in a plastic bag, they will harden up like meringue and crisp up to a dust. These do not taste eggy at all and are great for sandwiches or even just with a little bit of jam. So yummy! These will last about three days in the fridge, if you can wait that long. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll share it with others. If you try any of my recipes out, be sure to Instagram or tweet me a pic. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.